welcome to setting up the PowerFlex 525. Uh, this one has, has a embedded Ethernet port in it. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the setup, uh, getting this unit set up with using a uh, programming terminal, a USB cable, and just the unit here. This is all you're going to need to do to set up uh, this drive so that you can pre-program it while uh, they're out installing the base unit. This one is a 460 volt. Two horsepower drive. So what you want to do is you're going to want to hook up your USB plug into your programming terminal and on the back side of the drive here you'll see that on the top there's a plug and you want to get the same style USB plug and plug it in what I'm using, I'm using one off of a printer right now and that seems to be fine as you can tell it is plugged in and the computer popped up in autoplay and we'll go ahead and uh, switch to the programming terminal and show you what we need to do from this point Okay, now that we're at our uh, programming terminal, you'll see the autoplay came up. Um, but before we get into this, you're going to have to have a piss, uh, some software called uh, CCW. And it's free from Rockwell, so if you go to their webpage, uh, go to rockwellautomation.com, uh, support, downloads, and you go to free downloads, and you'll find connected components workbench just go ahead and highlight that pick the newest version and go down to downloads and then where it says downloads and select it and download it I already have it I'm not going to redo it and they'll walk you through uh, <clears throat> what you need for that we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and open up this we're going to pick uh, this software here. Now this software is, uh, remember we had the USB cable plugged into the PowerFlex 525 uh, head and uh, this come up so what we want is, is we're gonna want this alright what we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna wanna upload the param drive parameter data from uh, the drive we're gonna go ahead and save it to the desktop this is what we know where it's at we're going to call it, we're going to call it training and we're going to save it as um, 520 USB file and then hit upload and that's it so what we're going to want to do now is start up CCW which I already have a shortcut go find it here CCW right here and you want to start it up all right now that it's open we're gonna to want to go up to file we're gonna to want to import device we're gonna pick a drive file because the drive file is what we saved Right here, as you see, well, we didn't spell training right, but this will be fine. We're going to go ahead and open her up. And populate a list. Just go ahead and double click it. <coughs> It'll open up your drive. It's a three phase, 460 volt, two horse. Uh, now I'm going to set this up with Ethernet on uh, for our next tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to properties go to communications we're gonna manually configure the IP settings we'll go ahead and we're gonna change this we're gonna use a 192 168 1 and we'll start our drive field off at 100 subnet 255 255 255 
and our gateway. Our gateway is a 192.168.1.1. And that that's all we're going to need. So we'll go ahead and uh, exit this. It's going to ask if we want to save it. Yes, we do. If you go back to properties and you go to communications, you'll see that it stayed. Basic parameters. Since we are going to run this on the Ethernet, the only thing we're going to wire up is a 480 to this motor, and we're going to do everything else over Ethernet. Uh, you can set up uh, the the optional uh, relays for faults if you choose to. But for this one, we're just going to set it up over Ethernet. If you go into parameters, it'll pull up every single parameter in the drive. The easiest thing that I've found to do to set these up quickly is to go into your parameter uh, tab, the drop down, go to parameters, and then we're going to go to basic program. Here's where you'll set up uh, the voltage, the motors, current, RPMs, etc. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to change the Excel time to two seconds. And I want this drive to stop immediately. So instead of putting zero, we're going to put 0.1. And that, what that will do is that will keep it from giving it an over fault um, if you drop down if you don't have a brake resistor. Uh, minimum frequency is zero. The maximum is 60. All adjustable. Stop mode. Uh, we, we're going to ramp it down. Or you can do coast. Uh, start so the start source for Ethernet IP. The reference for the speed will also be under Ethernet IP. And that's all we need to set up. There's nothing else in here that we need to set up unless you're going to use some, some of your uh, outputs from the drive. And then you get into... Oops. You'll get into... Uh, terminals where you'll have terminal terminal block and then you have zero two it's a run forward and trigger etc there's uh, one in here for jog um, here's your opto output logic uh, ready on fault normally open normally open when it faults it'll go normally closed but we're not gonna we're not gonna set any of those up we're gonna go ahead and we'll go up here and we're gonna rename the We'll rename it and try to spell it right. We're going to put uh, training. Uh, we'll use PowerFlex 525. Enter. We'll go ahead and save the file. And now that everything's ready, we're going to go ahead and export this. Excuse me. We're, let's go to properties. We'll import export. And we'll export the drive file. We want to export as a USB file. We'll go ahead and pick training again. We'll fix the spelling. And we'll go ahead and hit save. Okay, now that we've uh, saved it back to the desktop, we'll go ahead and minimize uh, CCW. We did put two up here because we didn't save the exact same name. We do not need this one anymore. We'll go ahead and delete it. And we'll use our training 525. We'll go back to our file here. Um, oh, excuse me, we don't need the file. We already have it open still. So we'll open this up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to download. So we want to select download. We're going to browse to our desktop. We'll hit OK. It'll populate the list here for you. And go ahead and highlight it. Select next. And then we want to go ahead and download it. And that's, that's it. We're going to exit this, and now that uh, your drive's set up, <coughs> you can go out to the field and plug it in, and we will come back on our next tutorial and uh, <coughs> add it to our project tree, and go online with it, and then go ahead and run it. Thanks for watching.